Hello and welcome to my channel. In this episode, I try to fix an alpha data memory expansion uh, master 1200 with one megabyte of RAM. This is a memory expansion card for the Amiga 1200. In this case, it has uh, battery damage and corrosion from vinegar. I get this card for repair. So let's try to bring this expansion back to life. Enjoy this video and let's start it. So this is the memory expansion on the bench. You see, you see if we focus. It's corroded on the connector, downside, upside. And this corrosion is a mix from, from battery leakage here to and um, corrosion from vinegar. I get this in this condition and now I try to fix this. So I try a method I heard from on Twitter. So for this you need baking powder and water. Let's try. I think it could work. Try the other side. If you put this one in this bad condition in the Amiga 1200, um, the Amiga doesn't boot up. So I have cleaned this, I uh, rinsed this in, in, in fresh water. And then I put IPA on it. And then we will see If the Amiga boots up, and we disconnect that and put some contact cleaner. So, um, this RAM expansion built in this Amiga 1200 and hooked all up to the TV. And now we test if we get a picture or something else. Let's go. See, oh, it's loading. Surprising. Then let's take a look. Uh, 
it's all in. And two mags are showing up. Ram boards, two mags, no boards. So, back to the bench. So I um, checked the RAM expansion in the slot and I reseated this and now we test again. Let's see. We get the white screen, we get the gray screen. And we get nothing. Try again. Restart. Restart again. And you see. White screen, gray screen, and stop. And now we get back to the bench and take a look and check the board again. Now we're back on the bench and the next step is to clean this jumper and desolder this socket, remove the chip, and desolder the socket, desolder this socket, to clean under it. So let's start it. So we see I desoldered the two sockets, clean the areas front and the back side, take a, a new socket. The socket was two pins too long, so I use uh, a cutter and make it a little bit shorter. I cleaned also the chip and the jumper. So now we um, reassemble this card. I solder on the socket and put the jumpers on. And then we will test again. Now put the chip in the socket, then we put the jumpers, for this we use a little bit counter cleaner. For better contact.
But now we test this again. After the work on the workbench, we test this card again. All is hooked up. The card is inside the expansion port. And now let's test if this card works. Fingers crossed. Here we have workbench. Show config and no. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, this is for this episode. I end up this video here. The damage is it's too big and there's no reason to take more effort and time to this repair. You see, if you have a PCB with battery damage and you use Winnaker to uh, neutralize the battery acid, then clean the PCB very well. Don't let the Winnaker on the PCB, your damage will be worse. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more of my videos, subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next one.